How's it going you guys and welcome back to Content Ready Fitness and in today's video we're going to do a full on review of fat grips. These are a great piece of equipment that have a lot of different benefits to them that I believe everyone should be able to use and have in their gym bag for whatever exercise they are doing. So I'll have a link down below if you guys want to check them out and snag a pair for yourself because again I highly recommend them and we're going to dive into all the benefits right now. So first things first they have three different tiers that I want to mention. They have their fat grips one series which is a 1.75 diameter. They have their fat grips which I believe just their original uh, which is a 2.25 diameter and then they have their fat grips extreme which is a 2.75 diameter this thing is no joke i haven't really been using these that much because these <laughs> i need to work my way up to these but i've been typically playing around with just their original og fat grips and they're really beneficial in a lot of different ways but the main reason why i will use them typically is i need to work on my forearm uh, strength and endurance so for my type of training, I do a lot of different things on pull-up bars, on rings, uh, do lots of heavy repetitions of barbells. So if my grip is the first thing to go, then it's really gonna hinder my results in the gym. So I like to slap these onto barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever it is, and then I can receive more benefits from having to really focus on squeezing my forearms and getting more muscle fibers activated with this thicker surface and not just using my forearms, kind of hooking them and being more passive. With this bigger diameter, it takes a lot more energy for my forearms to hold on to them, making it that much more taxing. That, that way if I do this for you know at least once a week or I do a period of every single day for a few weeks my forearm strength goes through the roof and makes a huge difference and it's not my limiting factor in my workouts so that's why I use them personally and I love it for that reason uh, it makes a huge difference you almost notice that difference within the first couple of weeks now another reason people like to use these is to help build bigger muscles in their upper body so whether it be you're doing a pulling exercise or a pushing exercise building this bigger diameter is going to require more muscle fibers in general so not only you're getting your bigger forearms but it can also increase the size of your arms your chest your back as well so it's a great thing you to add to really you can add it to cable machines you can add it to dumbbells you can add it to really anything that has about that inch maybe a little bit thicker I've gotten away with putting it on maybe like some dumbbells that have really thick handles you can still put it on there and it'll be a little bit bigger but that's fine it's still you know very challenging to do um, with the exercise so you can add it on that way, and if you're doing your curls, your lat pull downs, whatever it is, it'll make it that much more harder to do, and that's building bigger muscles because you have to tear them down, and you're gonna build them up uh, in size later on. So that's great uh, benefit as well. But also, let's say you're someone that has just lacking muscle groups in general. So let's say your biceps could be a lot bigger, but your forearms are just super lacking in size and strength, and your biceps just you really you can't curl that much more, you can't pull that much more because your forearm is limiting factor. If you build your forearm strength, I believe it's called the principle of irradiation. I'll put it up on the screen, but if you get bigger forearms, now your biceps is like, oh sweet, my forearms that much stronger. I can pull that much more now. I can be able to hold on to that much more weight. So that way when I do these exercises, now my biceps can get that much bigger. So it's really a great way to train the arms, train the back, train the chest. Um, I didn't really realize you could use it for pushing exercise, but people have been doing that as well. Uh, I saw a video of Jay Cutler says he loves doing it on bench press to help get a bigger contraction in his pecs. So try that out as well uh, it's not just for pulling exercise like i would have thought you can really add it to any upper body exercise uh, to see receive the benefit from it another amazing benefit of these is that with this bigger area and you're getting bigger uh, stress on the muscles themselves, it's taking away some of that stress on the elbows, the sh shoulders, the wrists, a lot of these joints people experience pain with after years and years of training. So adding these uh, to your exercise can definitely help alleviate that pain or even get rid of it altogether. Now, just to give you guys an idea of which ones I would recommend for you to start off with, my deadlift is 500 pounds. And I did a quick little test to see how long I could hold on to these uh, with a 70 pound dumbbell. So first I held a 70 pound dumbbell for up to a minute. No problem, wasn't too bad. I, it was really quite easy. I feel like I hold it for a few more minutes. Then I switched to the one series. Again, hold it up to a minute. It was a little more challenging. I could probably hold it another 30 seconds if I needed to, but a minute was doable. With the original blue fat grips, I was only able to hold for up to 32 seconds. That was pretty tough. And then the extremes, I couldn't pick up the 70 pound dumbbell. Um, I have, I would say, average size hands. Again, I think I have decent grip strength because I've been using them for a while, but with the extremes, I literally could not pick them up at all. So for my recommendation, if you're someone that you feel like is definitely lacking in grip strength, I'd recommend the one series to start off with, and then you can always work your way to the originals, or if you feel like you're someone that has a decent amount of strength but could definitely improve, uh, the originals would be the way to go. 
So again, I will have everything linked down below in the description. If you guys have any more questions or comments on these, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you guys. If we can hit 100 likes on this video in a week of this video being posted, I will do a giveaway on my Instagram. So if you're not already, follow us on Instagram at Constantly Varied Fitness. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe for plenty more, and we'll see you guys next time.